Hello everyone and welcome back to another AC on the go video. We are here at SeaWorld opening day. As you can see, tons of cars behind us and tons of cars in front of us. Uh, there is the SeaWorld sign up there, as you can maybe see. So, this is looking pretty crazy out here. What do you think about that, Dad? Yeah, I mean, it's they just opened 30 minutes ago, so everybody's trying to get in, which is, I guess, a good sign for SeaWorld. There's a big crowd. I heard that they're opening maybe at like 30% capacity. You do have to have a reservation, so you go on the app or go online and get the reservation. Put in your ticket number or your pass numbers, and it syncs up so that you can get into the park. Now, we've never been to SeaWorld before, or he has, but I haven't. So we're going to ride every single ride here at one time. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy. Though we parked way over there, close to the entrance, we had to walk all the way down here to get to the line just to get into the park because of the social distancing. They do have these markers every six feet. If you can get in the way, thank you. That show you kind of where to stand in relation to people in front of you and behind you. But it is a long line just to get up to the tent to where you take your temperature before you even get up to the gate. So this whole process, as Carter said earlier, is probably going to take us about 30 to 40 minutes just to get through parking and to even get into the park. So keep that in mind when you're coming to the park. The temperature scanning uh, sign right here, 104 degrees. And they also have these sanitation stations as well. So now we're going into the white tent for our scanning. So they do sell face masks, face masks right there at the entrance. I can't show it because I can't flip it. And, but they do give out free face masks for people that don't have one. They won't give you one if you already have a mask. At least for though. now. I wouldn't like bank on that when you get here, but there was a guy when you were coming in a temperature check that if you didn't have a mask, he was giving you one. We are at SeaWorld. Here are some of the signs. First up, the flamingos. Gotta love the flamingos here, right when you walk into SeaWorld. What's up, buddy? There are a ton of them. This whole enclosure stretches all the way down over there. Look, they're hanging out walking with us. What's up? This is the Caribbean Flamingo. They're not even native. What's up, buddy? Oh, those are fighting. On one leg. And in their stomach. When if they're asleep. Um, yeah, those are asleep. They sleep on one leg. So it's 11.15. It's only been an hour and a half since the park opened. And this is the crowd level. Uh, there was a lot of people trying to get into the park. But like, went that way, like I was trying to nothing. Nobody's hardly here. The aquarium is closed. So we're trying to find some rides that are open. This water ride is not open, which is a pretty awesome ride if I remember correctly from the one time that I've been here. All right, so the first ride we're gonna give a try here is Kraken Unleashed. So this is a roller coaster, Kraken. It's this blue one right here. Yeah, it says it's a 45 minute wait, but I'm wondering if that's because, you know, they can only put so many people on the ride because I believe they're doing like every other row. So that may have something to do with it too, but we'll see how long the wait is. Yeah, but remember, it's every other row, so it wouldn't be quite that many. It looks totally fun. We'll see. So we are almost to the front of the line here to get on Kraken, but I was going to show you where they normally have front row uh, only and additional rows. They do not have that currently available. So everybody just has to funnel through this one side, and then they put you where they want you to go. So it has been 20 minutes, and as you can see, they are cleaning 
after every single ride, they go through and wipe down every seat and every harness to the entire coaster. Well, I guess to all the, the rows that are operating, which are currently just four rows. It's every other row from the first one, then in the back it skips two, and then the very back row is open. So there's a total of 12 people that can go at a time, which obviously makes the wait a lot longer. So we just got off uh, Kraken. It was pretty crazy. It was like a really smooth ride. Like we were just like zooming like smooth. Like I felt like it wasn't like go up, then jerk to the left, then go down. It was just like one fluid motion of the coaster, you know? I really liked it. Yeah, and just a little couple of tidbits when you're in there waiting. Um, it took about, let's see, that would have been 60, 120, about three minutes for them to do all the cleaning, get the next group of riders in and buckled and ready to go. So that's about, at least for us, some of that will vary, but at least for us, that's how long it took us, about three minutes. So that's not terrible. Also, when you are in, at least for the row that we were in, because I'm a bigger guy, um, I could not fit in the regular seat but they have a larger seat at least in the middle row from where we were so if you are a larger person coming to ride this ride just ask them which seat is for those uh, the one way to know is it had two buckles to buckle into the seat so if you see that just know that that's the one that's for the larger person next up is antarctica the empire of the penguins as we walk into this penguin expedition here. They have a little uh, penguin store with your uh, Go get your sled coolers at sledcooler.com. Oh yeah. Uh, we can get some different merch and stuff. We'll try to check out some merch when we have some time. Nice. So we are still at the Epic Adventure here and we are still waiting in line and as you can see Everybody is practicing their social distancing, so that's good. And we are just waiting to get inside. And apparently they are saying that there are two different types of Arctic rides. There is a mild ride and then a wild ride. So you get to choose how adventurous you want to be. So it looks like the ride's not even working. It's only the penguin exhibit. I think one's gonna jump. What's he doing? Dancing. Look how fast they are. like performing so it is freezing in here but and as cool as the penguins are which they are cool it is disappointing that the ride is not open so we will have to come back yeah that one's sleeping Sorry. we will have to come back when the ride is open it's not a TV screen. <laughs> it's really the penguins. You can see them where we were, and now we're down below. So we are now over here at Mako. Um, there are a lot more people over here. And <clears throat> we have found that there are a lot of things that are still not open yet. As you saw, that penguin ride wasn't open. I know, we're walking around. SeaWorld is committed to the health and safety of all our guests and employees. Please to remember to wear face coverings at all times. So, some of the shops sanitize your hands so it just before depends. and after your ride. Mako currently and has a delay, so we're going to skip Mako today because it has a delay. Thank you. And we're not here all day, but we'll definitely hit up Mako next time we're here. So this is Infinity Falls. It is a tube ride. 
Obviously, water ride is coming down here in the major rapids. Oh, wow. Uh, physical distance markings throughout the queue. Thank you, and enjoy your day at SeaWorld. Alright, so Infinity Falls, what'd you think? It was pretty cool. We got the most we got the most we got the most wet from when we went under the bridge and it just stopped us and we got soaked. Yeah. But it was an awesome water ride. It felt great because it's so hot out here today. Um, and uh, we went up an elevator and then you go backwards down. The yeah, front. that was pretty awesome. So we highly recommend that ride. You will get wet, so plan on that. There is the new roller coaster here. I can't remember what the name of it is, but we'll put the name down in the bottom of the video here of the new roller coaster that is not officially launched yet but uh will be launching soon this year supposedly and as you can see we're headed out because it looks like it's about to storm really bad and this is the lake that you can do the paddle boats in but it's not open today but and then over to the other side of the roller coaster is where sesame street is and we weren't able to get to that today, but we will definitely be back and we will do some more videos, take you all around. We're also gonna be trying to get a GoPro at some point in time so that we can take you on the rides with us because they allow you to film, at least they used to, uh, on the roller coaster. So, so we had a great time here at SeaWorld. Uh, we got to ride a couple rides. We were, the only disappointment really today was just that that penguin ride wasn't open. I'd say that's the only thing, but we loved Kraken. The Infinity Falls was tons of fun. We cannot wait to get back to film more videos, which we will do. Next up is Bush Gardens. We'll be heading there tomorrow, so we will uh, film that as well. And that will be posted right behind the SeaWorld video for the grand opening. So don't, don't forget, forget to, to turn, turn on, on the, the AC. AC.